Hey, this is Nultzer, and we're talking public test server. 6.13 is live as I speak, hopefully. It's introducing some balanced tweaks to the game. These were mentioned in the developer blog on Facebook for World of Warships, and I just want to go over it. The game in the background is myself in the Tier 8 Premium American Battleship Massachusetts. It is a South Dakota-class battleship, very similar to the Alabama. Honestly, too similar for me to discern a lot of altered stats. There are, if you post it on paper, there are changes, more range, more health, and yeah. But I don't think you're really going to notice that. So but this is why I'm not going to make a dedicated video to it. Maybe they'll change something in the future. Maybe the equipment loadout will be slightly altered. I, I don't know. Regardless, let's talk the patch. AA defense mechanic is getting changed. There's two detectabilities, sea and air. Air, the aircraft have to be within a certain distance to detect your ship. Right, we all know this. And for most ships, this is one to one or greater than your AA defensive range. Something like the Minotaur or a couple destroyers though are the exception to this rule. They can make their AA range so massive that it actually outranges the bloom for their air detectability when their long range AA is firing. So this would cause a weird scenario where the Minotaur could actively damage the aircraft but not be detected by that same exact aircraft. Clearly this is cheesy, clearly it needs to be removed, which it is in 613. They're going to a similar scenario that exists right now with main battery, where if your AA range is engaged, your air detectability will also be at that same range. So there's no possibility that you would not be detected if your AA is engaging that same aircraft. The next patch note, fire extinguishing for cruisers and destroyers will be faster. The maximum duration of fire on a cruiser or a destroyer will be 30 seconds in 613. Right now, I think it's 45 or 60 seconds. The Graf Spey is not getting this buff. Just want to make sure you understand that. And this is, this is okay. This is good. Their example, if you really went full damage control and all this stuff with signal flags and all the commander skills, you could get it down to 17.3 seconds. Who's going to do that as a cruiser or a destroyer? It's a, it's a nice buff for those weird scenarios where fire stays on the ship for a long time because you've used damage control or whatever. But this isn't really going to be noticed. All this really does is signal that fire is a tool that Wargaming is going to use to balance battleships. And for the vocal community, that's not acceptable. I may be misinterpreting that, but I don't think so. And quite frankly, Wargaming have settled on damage over time being the counter to battleships pretty much since they nerfed into the ground the torpedoes for destroyers and also the dual torpedo squadron of the American aircraft carriers. So it's been this way for a really long time. Just accept it and try and design your strategy around it. That's what I would do, but maybe I'm crazy. Next up, we've got smoke changes for British cruisers. The time that the British cruiser generates smoke is going from 7 seconds to 15 seconds. So theoretically, it should be impossible for that weird scenario where the British cruiser is sailing past their smoke and they, they stop right outside of it and they die because they don't have any protection. That's going away. And I think this is a compensation for the adjustment to smoke itself. And I think that's fair. I think that's fair compensation. You know, good players or great players are going to be like, oh, we don't need this change. This does nothing for us. <laughs> it's a good change. It's a good quality of life change. It allows for pretty much the British cruisers to always benefit from their smoke, regardless of the scenario. And that's good. I have no problem with that. It's not going to change it. It's not going to make them completely broken. I mean, it, it just it just fixes a slightly awkward scenario that could occur if you were maybe not paying attention or you were very stressed out. Usually in a scenario like this, you are stressed. You're trying to stop. You're trying to get it out quick. And this is going to just fix it. So going from 7 to 15 is completely cool with me. And then the last change that they're going to be doing is a couple buffs to some ships. So 
the T-22, the legendarily poor German destroyer, is getting a couple tweaks in the stock configuration. The standard firing range is going to be 9.1 kilometers. The standard air detectability is going to be 2.6 kilometers, and the detectability range by sea is 6.5. So these are improvements to the concealment of the ship itself, I believe, if I'm not misremembering. And that's cool, right? I, I did not buy into the idea that T-22 was so horrible that it was, like, worse than anything ever in existence. It was certainly difficult to use, and it was one of the weakest German destroyers. But the German destroyer line is the best destroyer line in the game. Even their weakest is still stronger than a lot of destroyers after all of these nerfs that they've received. I'm looking at you, Japanese. God, there's still so many bad Japanese destroyers. I feel so bad for them. God. So I'm cool with that. It, obviously, it's a nice change. The Soviet Tier 5 destroyer Podvoisky is getting a reload improvement from 9.2 seconds to 8.1. So that's pretty nice. It was, admittedly, a very, uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a sexy ship. It was a replacement. They moved it into Tier 5 slot. The original Tier 5 went to Tier 6, I believe. And, yeah. It, it's cool. It's a nice change. No one's going to complain. And no one's going to feel like, wow, this is a completely broken ship now. When it has to rely exclusively on its guns. And its guns were poor. Or they rotated slow. You needed something. So rate of fire improvement is appreciated. The Tier 5 Soviet Cruiser. So notice these are all Tier 5s. They're buffing Tier 5s. So this is great. Tier 5 Soviet Cruiser, Kidov, is getting a main battery reload time of 13.5 seconds versus 15, which is great. It is an improvement. I do see people complaining. Oh, but it didn't need it. It didn't need it. Yeah. Yeah. So many people are playing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the most broken ship at Tier 5. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what world these people live on, but... Wargaming needs players to want to play mid-tier more than they are currently. And if I see that there's a ship that either has a low win rate or an average win rate, and I could do something to improve its popularity or get people to play at a tier that isn't normally played, I'm going to do it. I'm going to risk the overpowered because the alternative is we maintain this weird world where, oh, tier 8s are great and... Tier 7s are kind of bo boring, and Tier 6s are kind of even more boring, and no one plays Tier 5, and why would you play anything but Tier 8, 9, and 10? No. This game is so much better than World of Tanks from a tier-to-tier -tier balance standpoint. They need to embrace that and encourage players to play all tiers because it's fun. So that's a good change. The shell velocity is also going from 800 meters per second to 920 meters per second. So holy crap, is it going to be really, really easy to hit with these? That could be an issue. Maybe it's too much of a buff. You basically will stay at max range at a cutoff, and you will rain down so much damage on the enemy. We'll have to see if both of these changes are appropriate. But it's making it play very similar to other ships in the line from a velocity standpoint from a reload standpoint I mean that's very close to I think the pre-buffed Dimitri Dunskoy but I could be wrong we'll see how it goes there's also a global change from the defensive fire consumable for US and Soviet destroyers it's gonna be even better so this is gonna be really nice for those particular destroyers and their anti-air role, it's going to suck for aircraft, you know. It just makes it even more likely that under a scenario where you know aircraft carriers are going to be in the queue, you can make yourself even more powerful against them. So there needs to be some sort of huge AA change that is a compromise between under certain circumstances, the aircraft carrier is just going to be powerful, and under others, the AA is just going to be powerful. 
right now we're sort of like it's so overbearing you can build it so strong that you would never be vulnerable to aircraft and that's not a good solution conversely some aircraft carriers don't even have to worry about AA and they can attack freely on every single target that's not a good solution either so we'll see what happens and then there's a couple visual updates we've got new visual tips on the battle load screen corresponding to the type of ship you're selected so maybe it's going to be telling you about what you should look to do in this particular scenario and what you should try and exploit i, I don't know exactly obviously and the patch isn't out when i'm recording this but it will be it will look for information about the roles and goals of the selected type ship control basics maneuvering all that stuff so you know a little bit of improvement for communication to get people a little bit more comfortable when they're playing the game cool 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 and then they change the tech tree appearance improving its look and information a white frame now surrounds the ships you've purchased while the xp and credits required to get the ships you don't have appear on the ship's icon okay quality of life improvement really appreciate it. look at how much was shot at us three million potential damage and it felt like that for that little bit where i was t where i was running away I hope that this was interesting. I can't wait to try out the changes. I know they're pretty subtle, but I think it'll improve the game. There's nothing here that I dislike. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.